What is she doing to you? Women who have horses, regardless of which country they live in, live on average 15 years longer than women who don't have horses. So that right there in statistical form tells you what we already know, that when you have beautiful heart field beings that make you get outside in the fresh air no matter what the weather is and do some amount of physical exercise every day with your feet on the earth and breathing the air guess what miracle of miracles your immune system gets stronger and you live Oh my god, just rolled it out and Zeta pees on it. Like, another thing I don't understand. I'm sure someone watching this does. So, I was going to keep rolling it this way. And they had pooed right at the end of the roll. And I was like, you guys. But then, of course, listen to your horse. I realized, hey, it'd be way better to roll it that way. So, they're kind of in a semicircle. And also, by not rolling it that way, it keeps it away from the blackberries, which they certainly don't like to eat close to because again, it's a predator screen. So yet again, listen to your horse because they always know better. <laughs> Get that lesson over and over again. Who's going to be the first person to lie down on this beautiful bed, hey? Person. Of course they're people. There's no difference. They're just souls incarnated in a different looking container. Oh, Zeta. thinking about it see now pose is now pose is smart she just peed on the edge of the pile like actually on the ground much better idea for my human brain thank you thank you very much See Kalia with Posa right there. That just proves my perception that Kalia is training Sione to be more powerful because Posa actually has a higher ranking with Odie than Sione does. So if Kalia can hold off a higher ranking horse, of course she can hold off Sione, but she has been actively pretending to be weaker as a way of, yes, Kalia, as a way of encouraging Sione's power to rise. There you go. She's giving to Cobra. And again, she doesn't need to. But since Cobra dealt with all of his castration trauma, 
he has been becoming more and more powerful in the herd. So the other horses are wanting to support him in that growing that power, which is really beautiful. It's um, a beautiful example of what true leadership looks like. True leadership is not, I'm the boss, do what I say. True leadership is let me teach you, help you, encourage you, let you practice on me so that you gain in your own leadership and in your own strength and power because the more of us who can become truly empowered and truly response able right so we're not you know scared little rabbits that just dart here and there but we're able to discern and take an appropriate response to any kind of hardship or challenge or um, injustice and the more of us who can rise to that place of being the better world we will have and the better our herds will be the more whole and secure and happy our herds will be when you have a herd usually thrown together randomly by humans that has a very disempowered, bullied, angry, etc. horse, that is not a safe, secure, healthy, happy herd. So what these wild horses have shown me repeatedly with their different members uh, over the years is the way that they offer these opportunities to the weaker members and for Zora, her journey, because she was a domestic horse who'd been bullied for much of her life, her journey has taken far longer, uh, but they have supported her and tag teamed as to who's supporting her over the years. And it's been quite remarkable to watch and watch her come up. And you see, she's, she's so empowered. She's in there eating by herself. Like that's a strong, confident horse. Often they'll be in the barn eating and she'll be out in the field up there or all the way down the front by herself because she now feels secure enough uh, to go places that she is strong, that she is safe, which you would never have seen that behavior from her before. Meanwhile, massive, massive flocks. There we go. I was wondering who would be the first to take advantage of this beautiful edible bed. called sleep and snack and Kalia hasn't moved you see you see how strong Kalia is you see how powerful she is this is what real power looks like it's not power over it's the power to hold your own space and as Kalia is doing teaching all of these horses who are less powerful how to become more powerful it's true power is enabling others to rise and helping them and assisting them to rise, not using your power to squash them and keep them small. I'm just gonna have to go sit with Big Mama because that just looks way too gorgeous. Hey, Mama, should I come sit with you in the hay bed? Okay. Is it a lovely hay bed? Yeah, yeah, is it a beautiful hay bed? Who else is gonna lie down, eh? Who else is gonna lie down with mama? And look, here we have Kalia, right here. This is a nice big mound right here. 
So when I feel for where to sit down with Odie, I'm feeling for her body comfort and her, um, and Kalia also like that. She was like, no, no, don't come closer because then you're too close to me. So I'm feeling like right here is okay because if mama needs to get up suddenly, um, she doesn't have to worry about hurting me because this is when the coyotes come up out of the back there, you see? So she can get up easily. And I'm far enough away from Kalia. <laughs> and the rest of them are all there. So again, I'm not, I'm not looking to lean my body against her or snuggle cuddle with her um, because what I've learned Maybe domestic horses that have been raised with humans might enjoy that, although Juno was and he doesn't. Um, what I found, like horses are not like dogs. They don't snuggle in a pile. They like to have their own space. Um, they like to be close, but they don't like to be like on each other and cuddled right up against each other. Uh, for these guys anyway. My childhood horse, who was domestic born and raised, loved to lie down with me and put her head in my lap. And she would sleep that way. Uh, she was very comfortable and she really enjoyed that. But for these guys, they, well, where am I? I'm like that far away from her. They like a little bit of space, you see, because of that. And there go the dogs because something's happening in the woods. So I'm watching mama and I'm going, if she has to get up, I can get out of her way really fast. <laughs> no, just an itch, Mama. <laughs> Kalia, you are such a cool cucumber. And again, just more about what real power and strength look like from these two mamas. What beautiful lessons they've given us. <laughs> that was so totally awesome, Odie. <laughs>